Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. Jarl the Eppian Way with my wife, Lindsay. Hi. Um, before we started with this video, because a trailer just did just drop today, we did want to open up with a statement. We both live in poor area of Philadelphia. We wanted to take the opportunity to educate because a lot of my audience, based on the demographics, is very white and pretty privileged. So we wanted to talk about Black Lives Matter, which we do support. And in particular, because I can already feel people furiously typing all lives matter, we wanted to tell you the difference. It's not that anyone ever said that all lives don't matter. Obviously they do. The point is that the lives that are in danger are black lives. By saying black lives matter, you're putting the emphasis where it belongs, where it needs to be. Um, this is the same logic behind where it might feel morally good to say, I don't see color. You can only really say that from a position of privilege. And what we mean by privilege is that it's often something that you don't recognize that you have. Privilege affords us the ability to ignore how poorly others are being treated, when in reality the situations are just not equal. So when you're saying all lives matter and I don't see color, these are not morally right. Because by saying so, you were ignoring the hurt of others who are not as privileged as you. Anything else you want to add? People get a little bit defensive sometimes when the, when um, they're called out for having privilege because their response is similar to, well, I'm poor, you know, I was raised in poverty, um, or uh, these bad things happened to me, and so where's my privilege? And the point is that if those bad things happened to you and you were black, you'd be in a worse situation than if than the one that you're in. Not that what happened to you doesn't suck, because it does. It's the same thing as all lives matter, because they do. But everything is just a little bit easier. Okay, so that aside, we're here to review a trailer for you today. Um, this is for Total War Saga Troy. We did a video about this just last week, and the funny thing is that just this week they decided to release another trailer, and the last one came out, I don't know, November last year, September, something like that. Some quick couple of things from that last video uh, that we wanted to correct on. Um, the studio that creates The Witcher is based out of Warsaw, Poland, and the um, it's not Sarajevo that the Total War, I'm sorry, that the Creative Assembly Studio is in. It's in Sofia, Bulgaria. I think we covered all of our bases. Let's just go dig right on into this trailer, shall we? And we're back at the pottery. Well, if that's the in-game engine, that looks pretty nice. Also, the hair's ridiculous. Like, you would not do your hair like that to go fight someone. It's a good reason to have, like, what? I guess that's supposed to be Helen. Mm -hmm. Her hair is so ridiculous. But it makes sense now. Uh, let me guess. Agamemnon? Hector. Hector. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. I guess they made it an actual romance. Mm hmm. Call Troy your home then. Brother, I can fight. Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. I'm gonna have to do some research because I don't know enough about clothing to tell whether or not that's accurate, but it seems awfully overblown. Oh, oh yeah, everything seems over the top. Check out, check out this guy. This is a shout out to something I mentioned earlier. Uh, Probably a cyclops. Yeah, okay. I mean, he was big and needed to work on his posture. <laughs> That looks pretty cool. The music has a Greek and an Eastern and an epic total war feel. Yeah. 
I want Achilles. Where is Achilles? No Achilles this time. I'm disappointed. I, I, I thought that was going to be something we'd talk about. Uh, I know you want Achilles and Patroclus, but right now they're kind of side characters in the great story, right? When we talk about the Trojan War, we talk about Paris, Helen, Hector. Well, maybe I mean, not Hector. but Yeah, Hector, but the reason that the war went the way it did was because of Achilles. Yes. And to a lesser extent, Odysseus. But I guess they could have expansion packs or something. They're probably going to be primary characters in the game, yeah. would be my guess. I did remember something else that we forgot in the other video, or I forgot to mention. There has been another Total War Saga game. Hmm. And that was called Thrones of Britannia. Um, it's actually the second most recent Total War game, other than Three Kingdoms. And I haven't played it. Hmm. Um, people that I know and trust in the Total War community pretty much dump on it regularly. Okay. I'm still interested to try it out because it does seem really cool. It's Great Britain in a time period where there are literally kings popping up everywhere. You mean like post-Roman? Yes, post-Roman, pre-true like Nordic control. Yeah, so like 400 to 900, give or take. Uh, I think, I think, and people can correct me on this, like six, seven hundred to eight hundred, somewhere in that yeah, window. Yeah, that's a broader. Yeah. yeah, Vikings are are there, but they don't have total control. There's Welsh kings. There's yeah, British yeah. kings. It's it's all over the map, and it is it is a traditional total war game. Okay. Despite having the saga name attached to it, it it could be that they intend for the saga title to be like a. A standoff. This is a one-off. Hmm. Kind of like Napoleon was a standoff, one-off Total War game. Mm-hmm. And Attila was a one-off Total War game. But they didn't call them Saga. Right. And they're very very unlikely to make a Napoleon 2 or an Attila 2. Right. The big news today that went out alongside this trailer release was that when the game launches in mid-August... The Epic's, Epic Game Store is going to give the game away for the first day of sales. Huh. And they're announcing that in advance. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Are they also going to do a bunch of pre-order promotion stuff that you can't get if you want to buy it for free? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> According to Creative Assembly, hmm. the deal idea originated entirely from the Epic Game Store. Epic hmm. Games reached out to Creative Assembly and said, oh. we'll pay you this much money. And it was enough to make Creative Assembly go, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> if you let us do this free promotion. sales for one day. I mean, it makes sense because they want people to use the Epic Games platform. Mm-hmm. I don't know if like any of the other platforms have tried something like that in the past. Epic's Game Store has been doing this a lot lately. Hmm. And... It's definitely their, they're trying to buy their way into being a primary gaming platform for PC gamers. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, because um, a lot of people are very upset about this. To be fair, I don't see how another gaming platform can really wrest control away from Valve and Steam without doing some heavy-handed tactics like this. <laughs> There's a lot of questions in the world right now about this. Like, what about mods? Epic's Game Store doesn't have a modding platform where mm. Steam does. What about DLC? Are they going to release it on both? Is Total War going to become an Epic Game Store exclusive? What does this mean for Total War Warhammer 3, which they still haven't announced yet, but we all know is coming? <laughs> um, from my opinion on this, knowing that, that Troy is going to be a one-off game and it's a saga title... And Thrones of Britannia didn't get, to my knowledge, didn't get any DLC. It might have gotten one DLC pack. Mm-hmm. I I feel like this is a no-brainer, and, like, I'm going to get it for free on the Epic Game Store. <laughs> like, okay, that's fine. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Free game, and it's, in a, and it's in a series I like, and I'm not gambling with my money. Fair. So as a consumer, this this is a this is a no brainer. Um, the real trick that the Epic Game Store has to pull off is give people a reason to come back to it after they've played that game that they wanted. Mm-hmm. 
and I don't know what that reason is yet. There are, there are some people who say that this is basically bullying tactics from Epic Games. I mean, all of capitalism is bullying tactics, so that's really a nonsense statement. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. There you have it. So that's uh, that's it. We'd like to thank you for your time. I'm going to get to editing and post this up as soon as I can. All right. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Mm-hmm.